So let's finally talk about this camera right here. Now, I've actually used GoPros a lot, whether it's the need to film extreme water sports, um, just swimming, or during winter for filming skiing and snowboarding, as you already saw in the previous clip. Uh, just because it's so durable and really small, it's the only camera I can really say about that anything for the shot, because you don't really have to worry about possible damage. Now the GoPro I've been using is the GoPro Hero 5. <laughs> wow effect for me was the obvious ability to look around everywhere in post. Also the ability to fix or add creative camera moments in post like this. Maybe some of you thought that these were shot handheld, but no. Also a quick little fact about this movie overall. Some people said to me that at the start of the movie they were quite confused who the heck was able to film this way in front, but later on realized. Also, it is nice to add these whip transitions between the clips, so you don't actually have to worry about finding a clip that whips or spins. Great one yourself! Also, the ability to reframe this in post uh, makes it really good for FPV. So with bite mount or a helmet mount, I have many Hero 5 clips where the frame is just vertically off a little bit. To me, at least what I've been able to get out from it is really nice and after all it's just a way for me to get some creative juices flowing again and be able to experiment with some really fancy camera movement. For creatives, I think this is amazing also for capturing memories. You can look around everywhere, re-experience everything again. I'll be definitely using this in the next, uh, in the upcoming winter season movie. Thank you for watching, leave a like, subscribe, see you soon.